morning. <clears throat> it's Saturday morning, June, I'm sorry, July 2nd, make that. Got a no cooling call. We've been shut down most of the week because it's been pouring down rain since Wednesday. Woke up this morning, first thing to the phone ringing. So I got a feeling it's gonna probably be a long Saturday. So hopefully, uh, I mean, I just got the one right now. So we're gonna see if we can uh, take y'all along with us on it. All right, guys, here's our current situation. I'm having to talk a little. The customers are right here. Mayor handler's off in the kitchen. It's an apartment-style air handler, and I found the problem.
All right, so they had the American Standard put in a few years ago. This is for the upstairs. It's a two-ton from 2014, and it is a 13 seer. This is a... check the charge for it. So you can see we're flooding liquid back to the compressor. And he told me he's had a couple companies out here come put Freon in it in the past couple years when it probably didn't need any. The whole problem was what we just saw inside. So we're going to have to remove some of this charge. The head pressure is high and uh, we have no superheat. The coils are a little smashed up, but they don't look too dirty, but we may hit it with the hose, but um, we, we're coming back Wednesday or Thursday or possibly Friday. Definitely one of those three days to change the system out, so I'm not going to go too far into detail with it. All right, I think I'm going to leave it right there. The super heat is jumping around a lot. Well, now it's back down low. It was up to 11 and then 12 a minute ago. But a problem that I have is I'm about to get rained on. I just looked at the weather and we got a lot of rain coming again. So this will probably be my only one today. That, man, that super heat is jumping around like crazy. But she is pulling extremely hot air. And it's only 71 degrees in the house. So I'm just, it could be mixed refrigerants too, the way that superheat's doing. This is R22, we talked about this on the live stream the other night. There could be some NU22 in here. There could be some uh, MO99 in here. We, we just don't know if it's mixed or not. There's, you know, it's not tagged. So I'm assuming it's R22. But we could have some mixed refrigerants in here. So we're coming to change the system out one day next week. So I'm not going to get too technical with it. All right, guys. So I barely met. I, I got out of there just in time. Y'all can probably hear it in the background and probably see it on my window right here. The rain has started. This has been going on since Wednesday. Every day, nonstop, all day. So, uh... I, sus I suspect that that system has mixed refrigerants in it. I've just got some new shirts there, the dry fitted shirts. They are awesome. I don't know why I ever wore regular t-shirts. Anybody out there in business for yourself? I know a lot of companies do the button ups and stuff. I'm sorry, I'm not wearing all that. That's too hot. People say t-shirts don't look professional. In 20 years, I've been wearing, mo t I I've worked for people that you know, made me wear the button ups, but I've been wearing t-shirts for the majority of 20 years and I've never had a complaint. But these dry fit shirts, oh my God, whole different ball game from a regular t-shirt. Anyway, I suspect that that system had mixed refrigerants in it. The way those, my, my suction pressure would go from 70 to 75. My head pressure would go from 306 to 320, like instantly, not just climb, it would just bounce. Super heat would go from like, 11 12 13 and then drop back down to one or two you know so it's i really think it's got mixed referred mixed r22 like r22 and an r22 replacement but the customer is going to call me he's got to go out of town well we're all everybody's off monday for the fourth tuesday he's got to go out of town so he's either going to call me tuesday afternoon or wednesday morning with a decision on whether he wants to go with a 14 sear or a 16 sear. Because with the 16 sear package, I, I give a free Wi Fi thermostat and a five inch media filter, which they need. You saw the dog hair we pulled off of that call. That was all dog hair. 
And see, that unit's in a closet and it has a regular three foot door with a filter back grill in the door. Well, the problem with that is the filter is about, you know, about that much above the bottom of the door and there's a crack under the bottom of the door and there's cracks on the sides of the door. So that dog hair is getting under the door and through the cracks of the door. So I told him we either need to put a four inch, I mean, I'm sorry, not a four inch, a, a one inch, whether we do a one inch filter or a five inch media filter, I told him the filter needs to go directly under the unit, not in the door. We're gonna leave the grill there, but we're gonna take the filter out. Or we'll put a cheap horse, you know, just a cheap, easy flow horse hair throwaway filter in there. And, uh, but he wants to go with the 16 sear with the five inch media filter. And I told him with, you know, they have three big dogs in the house, an Australian shepherd. I noticed one of them. And then the other one was a lab. And then I can't remember what the other one was, but so they've got plenty of dog hair floating around that house. And that's what we pulled off of that coil. And uh, the system was definitely cooling when we left and pulling good heat. Um, I probably didn't go into detail in evaluating the system as much as some of you super techs out there would have liked, but on a 30 year old system or right at 30 years old, well, it is, hell it is 30 years old. It's a 30 year old system. I'm not gonna do it. I solved the problem to get them air and we're gonna be changing the system out next week we just don't know if it's going to be a 14 sear or 16 sear. He said 98% sure it's going to be the 16 with a five inch media filter. So, you know, why go into all that detail? The coil didn't look that dirty, but it was, it was smashed in several places. That's why the high head pressure and also the high head pressure because of the uh, mixed refrigerants. I'm, I'm assuming it's got R22 and an R22 replacement in it together. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.